you know, there's there's something that's that's true about anything that you worship, and that is that you turn over your wealth, you turn over your authority, you turn over much to that which you worship. And and what I hear you saying, and I don't w- m- mean to put words in your mouth, but what I hear you saying is when we look to government as a place in which we place our faith, then we cede to government extraordinary authority over our lives. Absolutely. Um, and and do you see that as an agenda? Do you see that as something that is occurring in America? And how does it impact freedom, self-responsibility, and faith? Well, you, you don't have to be responsible, self-reliant, if you can depend on the government to take care of you. And, you know, I believe it is a strategy. I believe it is a plan. I, I mean, let's be honest. America is the last great hope for this world. Uh, so goes America, so goes the rest of the world. And so many countries have tried socialism and they've got tyrants in there that use that power and take away the freedoms of of their people, uh, strip them of their gun rights, strip them of, uh, I mean, in Canada, I was posting on my social media that they're actually now handing out tickets to individuals that shake hands in public. Uh, If you're too close within proximity over this whole pandemic, again, it's, it's, it's using fear to strip away liberties and freedoms but when it gets when it gets to a point where you can't even shake hands with a person out in public without getting a ticket, you know your freedoms are gone. So I, I absolutely believe, like every major you know uh, movie where it always depicts some evil people or rulers that are trying to take over the world, it's it's not just fake. It's not just theater. There are elitists that uh, that have large control over certain demographics and sections of economies, sections of uh, of industry and uh, Hollywood is an example. You look at what comes out of Hollywood and it is there's an agenda to try to minimize and lower individuals' uh, respect for women, respect for relationships, and, and definitely respect for God. Christian movies, I don't even think they make them in Hollywood. Uh, and if they do, they get banned or pushed to the side or, oh, that's another, uh, that's, that's, that's a different type of film. So uh, yes, th- there is a plan, I believe, that's at work right now in this, in this country, in this world, to try to lower America, to uh, take our freedoms, to lower us to a third-class type of a country, uh, to make American citizens believe that we need the government to make our decisions for us because we're not able to make them ourselves. 